Hello everyone! Thank you for viewing our video series Creating Shopify Store for Selling T-Shirts on Multiple Marketplaces. The topic of today's video is finalizing changes in our Shopify store and making it available to the public. The first step is setting a domain name for your store. If you didn't have a domain for your store, you can find a buy it in a service like namesnamecheap.com or any other similar domain purchase service. Inside the Shopify store, please process to the settings page and then select the domain section. There you will be needed to enter your domain, in our case it's setlick.com. After this please follow Shopify instructions for connecting the domain. Please notice that you will be needed to make changes to your domain control panel. So, the domain will be connected to your Shopify store. When you are ready click on Verify Connection. Shopify will do verification of settings and suggest what needs to be changed in the control panel to make a shop connection. The data need to be written exactly as suggested by Shopify. After the configuration of the store domain is done, let's back to shop configuration. We continue configuration with change the list of available collections and making some new dynamic collections that will pick up some of our favorites products. In our store, we will sell t-shirts in three different categories. So let's create collections that will represent these categories. Additionally, we would like to have a list of the best products and here we need to create an automated collection that will contain all products with the tag favorite. You may also update already created collections with a fixed list of products to one with automatic rules. In some cases, this is useful. We, from our side, provide collection names during the creation of products inside the Printify service. So it's not necessary. Now, let's adjust the menu of our store. By default, there are two menus, main and footer menus. In the main menu, Let's add three collections with different types of products we offer. And remove the general catalog section. Before we can adjust a footer menu, we need to generate a few policy pages and a few static pages with company details. To do so, we need to open the settings page and navigate to the section policies. Shopify provides you a way to generate all required legal pages depending on your location and local government requirements. Please make sure that you replace placeholders with your details. Then return to the menu configuration page and now select the footer menu. We will add their links to created policies in the previous steps. The search menu item remains unchanged. In the navigation section, Shopify gives you the possibility to configure filtering options for your collections. By default, it includes availability and price. But you can also extend it with any other options. After we finish with the general configuration of the menu and policy, let's configure the home page of your store. The default template contains many sections that you always could adjust. But in our case, we will follow this structure and adjust how it looks. The first block is dedicated to the hero image with general information about your store and what you are offering. You can change the background image of the section to one that will suit better to your design and list of offered products. You can use services like Canva to create the images you need. You also can adjust how action button behavior. And if needed add a second button with other custom actions. Bellow Hero section, there is a small text banner that you can adjust according to your needs. Or even remove it. The Featured Products section by default will show all products from your store. We would like to change a collection shown there to Favorites Products. 
This theme also gives you the possibility to adjust how this collection is represented on mobile or PC. Below you can find the Multimedia Collage section. That gives you another possibility to display some of the featured collections or products from your store. A few examples are Summer 2022, Discounted Products, Limited Availability, and so on. Try to do some experiments so it will show in a way you like it. You can adjust positions and hide or remove some sections. Then, almost at the end, you can find a video section and you can publish a video promoting your content. We currently don't have it, so let's hide this block for now. Three columns with text allow you to highlight some key points of your shop. Free delivery, 30 days return policy, or anything else you think it's important. Or you can publish a selected review for your products. The footer section contains two menus and one text block. Menu in default settings, linked to a single Shopify navigation element. We need only one, so let's remove a second one. Besides the home page template, you can change the template of other shop pages. Like the product page, where it is nice to add some custom images and highlight key points of your products. Also, instead of setting fixed text, you can add a dynamic source, like a meta field. This is the perfect way of making your shop product pages is unique and gives most information to customers about your product. Other pages, like collections, cart, and checkout also could be modified and extended with extra blocks. There are also a plenty number of add-ons on the Shopify App Store that give you the possibility of adding extra functionality to the template editor. When the template and layout configuration is finished, it's time to adjust the shipping details. Shipping conditions could be configured at Settings Shipping and Delivery Settings page. You can create a general rule and also create a custom shipping rate. By managing shipping rules, you can change the cost of shipping and time of delivery and even create free shipping rules with specific conditions. If you don't plan to do international shipping, please make corresponding changes. Besides shipping, we also need payment configuration. Payment settings could be reachable also from a settings menu, section payments. In our case, we would like to use the Shopify payment system. With the activation of this payment system, Shopify will ask to provide some more details about your business. As soon as you activate it, you can start accepting payment on your system. And now we can remove password protection from our store. Okay, now we are done. Our store is live and could start selling products to real customers. Next time we will talk about the process of registration on Amazon Marketplaces and will apply for GTIN exemption. So we can create t-shirt products without barcodes. Subscribe to our channel to not miss new videos. Do you manage to open your online store? Please share links to it in the comments of your video. See you next week!